Hey there YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to root the Acer Iconia A500 tablet. It's simple, it's quick, you don't need a computer, you just need the tablet and a Wi-Fi connection. Um, the three things that you need to do for this process to work is first, before we go anywhere, go to your settings, go to applications, and then over here, make sure you have unknown sources checkmarked that has to be done. Then you're going to need to go to development right there where it says USB debugging make sure that's checkmarked. Those two things have to be done for this to work. The third thing that you have to have is you have to have a micro SD card installed in the slot. Without it it will not work. Um, I don't have one for mine quite yet. I just took mine out of my uh, HTC Inspire and popped it in there just for the root process and it worked perfectly fine. Alright now to get the actual thing we're going to need you're going to need to go to the XDA forum and uh, you can either do it in the browser on your uh, tablet or you can download the XDA application which there's a free version and then a paid for version in the market but uh you're going to look for one that says how to root an Acer Iconia A500. That's the uh, thread that you want. And inside that thread, on the first page, you'll find Gingerbreak version 1.20.apk. We're going to need to download that. Come over here and just click download, and then bam, it's downloaded. Okay. Now you need to. I already have it installed. Um. Once you find, you need to launch and install the application. And uh, once it's installed, one thing we need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and turn our tablet into portrait mode and then enable the lock on the side there. All right. Then we're going to need to find the gingerbreak application once you have it installed. And go ahead and open it up. It's going to make sure that you have an SD card inserted and mounted and USB, USB debugging mode is enabled. If those things are true, you just simply come up here, click root device, okay? And once that starts, a box will pop up right here saying it's attempting the root process, please wait, and that your device will reboot upon success. So once your device powers off and kicks back in, which will take a few minutes, especially the turning back on part, once it's rebooting, it's going to take a minute to turn back on. But uh, once you got that, to make sure you got everything good and that you did it right, just come into your applications, scroll over until you see Super User. If you see that, then you know everything went well. And now you're rooted and ready to go. Like I said, simple, quick, don't even need a computer. And then after that, you're free to remove the SD card if you need to. It doesn't hurt anything. I know one thing I had happen to me when I rooted mine, I don't know if it's something I did, but really minor, all my widgets went away. I just had to put my widgets back out. For some reason, I lost my widgets when I rooted it. But uh, other than that, I had no problem. It runs just as good as it did beforehand. And, uh... It allows me to install things like that. So, alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this helps, and y'all have a good day.